Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video about my Fuge. Um, I originally started this because I wanted to make a algae scrubber and it came off of this union here from my overflow. Um, actually, I got the idea how to build this from the king of DIY. I'm sure you've heard of him. He has a really good design that's real easy. But anyways, my algae scrubber came off this union, went across here, and then it dripped over the screen. You know, it was real noisy though, and it, it really didn't work that great for me. I've seen a lot of videos where people have success with them, but... It didn't work for me, so I ended up going with the Chato algae. And I'm happy I did because ever since I've had this in my fuge, my nitrates have stayed at zero. Before that, I could never keep my nitrates in control. There's my um, six line rest. <laughs> that guy, he was attacking my damsel. When I originally got this Chato, it came to me in the mail in a small sandwich baggie. It's about a handful of the stuff, and it grows so fast. I have, uh, you know, like I said, I have this overflow going to it, and there's a 90 on the bottom there, and a small piece of pipe. It goes about, you know, halfway under the Chato. You can see it bubbling on the top there. So, you know, all the the water from the display tank goes into this clump and gives the Chato a chance to absorb or consume the nutrients. You know, and this works really good. I already had to prune it back because it was just it was growing up way too much. But I have a compact fluorescent bulb right up top here and it has a I believe it's a 12 watt compact fluorescent bulb you can't see it but it's just one of those spiral looking bulbs you can get them at Home Depot really cheap and this light fixture that holds the bulb I picked this up for five bucks at the uh, hardware store it works real nice. It clips onto my my Petco stand, and yeah, it directs all the light right down on top. I think I have it about, I'd say about 12 to 15 inches away from the Chato algae. Here's my timer for my light for the Chato algae. It's set to go on at midnight, and I have it set to shut off at 5 p.m. These are really inexpensive. You could probably get one next to nothing online. Or you can go to a hardware store and get one fairly cheap there too. But this works great. It's cheap. I don't like to buy expensive things for my tank because I don't have a lot of money. So this one works out great. Another benefit to this Chato algae is it's a breeding ground for copepods, which fish love to eat, feed your tank for free. You can't see them with this camera, but there's lots of them in there. They came with the Chato when I purchased it. It must have been eggs because I didn't see them originally, and... I want to say a few weeks later, I started noticing them moving around. If you want to get Chato in your tank, you just have to make sure you have enough of it for your tank to actually be effective. I'm not sure about the amount you need, but I'm sure you could find something if you Googled it. But my tank's a 40 gallon breeder. And just to give you an idea how much I have, there's about 8 inches left to right and up and down, let's say about 5 inches tall, goes back from the front to the back all the way, about 8 inches. 
so that's how much I have and it works for me so maybe you can use those measurements to figure out approximate amount you might need I'm real happy with this stuff keeps my water crystal clear All right now that's the video on my chato algae and my fuge tank I hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did like and subscribe but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Bobby J's reef tank